Here is my take on uh, all the redneck pool heater videos. You see solar pool heater videos you see going around YouTube. Looked at a few of them, modified it to my situation, and then halfway through had some thoughts and changed it. But it's sitting on a pair of treated 2x4s, screwed together in the middle, braced, and when it goes on the roof, I'll stick these through some concrete blocks and weight them down so it can't blow anywhere. Uh, this is 500 feet of half inch tubing, 15 bucks a roll for a 100 foot roll at Menards, plus 11% off. Um, I'm holding it down with uh, ape tape, that's what it's called. You know, you could uh, get straps and everything that make it look nice and neat and maybe easier to work with if you're doing it by yourself. Uh, but this is was cheap and these little button nap uh, nails work great to hold it down and give you a little lip to stick the tubing under as you're wrapping it around. Um, I have splitters on here because I put 200 feet in one coil and 300 feet in another coil and I'm going to feed it with three-quarter inch tubing because my pool, and I'll post a video later showing you if it actually does any good or not and works, is way over there. So I've got to come all the way down this fence line and up the house and all the way down the house and then up on the roof way up there which you can't see. And I thought, well, a little less back pressure. Um, split it. Maybe it'll flow, you know, a little slower, have a little more time to warm up temperature wise, and then re return through three quarter inch. Um, and I wanted to use rigid on three quarter inch, not feed this with garden hoses, because I've tried putting garden hoses up on my roof before. And when you turn it off, if you don't put uh, some valves on it and just let the suction suck the water out, you'll smash your garden hoses flat as a pancake. And after a couple days of sun on the roof, they'll be totally worthless as garden hoses anymore. So, so I'm going to feed it with rigid. Um, it's really about it. 500 feet, half inch. I'm going to feed it with three quarter inch and a little button nap nails, some ape tape. Stick those through some concrete blocks. Maybe put a block in the middle. I think the whole thing weighs. No. <laughs> Nothing right now. It'll weigh something with some water and it's maybe 30, 40 pounds. I should be able to heave it up on the roof. And once the pool's up, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend, I don't know. I'll post another video and show you how it works. Off a diverter valve off my horse and a half, two horse pump on a uh, sand filter. And by the way, that's going to be a 22 foot. 52 inch deep pool and I also have solar panels that I hang on that fence 20 feet worth but as you can see I'm very shaded it's like 9 30 in the morning right now and I don't get sun till probably 1 2 o'clock in the afternoon but the roof already has sun so I'm hoping this does enough volume of water and uh, I'm sure if there's any hydro engineers on YouTube that watch this and say I'm totally wrong and this will never work fine but I was bored so I thought I'd try it check back later for the other video thanks